Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another day of me feeling and trying to laugh. See how I just don't even accept that I'm probably gonna, you know, I just, I just know my fate. Anyway, I laughed during this video today. You know what's gonna happen? No, listen up. I'm gonna put you on top of a, a step ladder. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick the step ladder and you're gonna fall. What you gonna do then? Bye. Ugh, oh, I can't believe I ate both Tupperwares of calamari. Uh. Oh, you had to what? But I'm still hungry. What do we have left to eat? I'm not gonna say we're out of food, but anything still in the fridge, I have made love to. Man, this broom handle poked tapioca is delicious. Chris had sex with that. <laughs> Relax, I didn't finish. Oh. Don't. Okay. okay. Why? Brother, come on now. Okay, what compound is this? That's sodium chloride. What the hell's going on here? this one? Hydrogen peroxide. God, you're so smart. How about this one? QM2? I'm not sure what that is. It's quagmegium. It's the strongest compound on Earth. Nothing can separate it. It has an atomic weight of awesome. You're such a cutie patootie. Ah. If I'm a cutie patootie, then you're a peeny vagini. Aww. I heard a cute aw in there. Cool down. <laughs> <laughs> Stewie, breakfast! You know what it is? It's not even the actual, like, joke. It's just how f***ing random it is. Like, why has he just turned into a cat? When did this new slab of beef get delivered? My name's Chris. You don't have a name until I give you one. You're a little young and plump to be in a place like this. You need a friend. Someone who could provide you with protection. I could be your friend. All we'll need is a big pen and a lighter. Why? So you could burn a swastika into my butt? Well, you just ruined the surprise, you goofball. What the hell? Oh, I don't know. I, I just don't feel that spark anymore. I mean, a honeymoon. Ah, oh, so much rug burn. Wait a second, Lois. That's what we need. We'll go on a second honeymoon. <gasps> rug hey, burn. That's a wonderful idea. Yeah, we'll be just like the honeymooners. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Yeah, yeah, I know, Ralph. Right to the moon. <laughs> he go Where's he going? Hey, Stewie, seriously. Uh, Dark ball! For everything you did to help me get my license back. My pleasure. But now you owe me. That means one day I'm gonna come to you and ask for a favor. But I need to know something. I need to know that you're gonna say yes when that day comes. Uh, oh, okay. Can we go for ice cream? <laughs> Come on! Why do you still read the newspaper? Nobody does that anymore. I like to keep up on local news, like the police blotter. Huh, most of these arrests are Cleveland, and the arresting officer is Joe Swanson. Can I help you, sir? I'm doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. You're right. It is more comfortable <laughs> here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. Guys, could you turn that down? I'm trying to study for the SAT. Hey, careful, Meg. Remember what happened the last time I had to choose between you and a TV? Don't worry, Meg's holding our stuff. Meg, don't drink that soda! Oh, Lois, thank God. Listen, I can't decide what I want for breakfast tomorrow. Can you make me a sample tray? You know what, Peter? I'm not talking to you right now. You screwed up bad with Chris, and you still haven't apologized for the way you treated me earlier. Oh, come on, Lois. I'll make it up to you. Maybe sooner than you know. Oh, Peter! Hey, you smooth ball. You're such a sweetheart. Read the card. To Heather from Chris. Oh. I thought it might have a funny riddle on it. Oh, good, the flowers came. We're just cocooning today because Heather said she's never seen TV, so we're starting with season six of Becker. I'm just going to be easing her in. What's the matter, Jesus. Brian? Have you fallen and can't get up? Turns out still using that joke is a felony. Guess I better not drop the soap. That one's the death penalty. <laughs> a funeral? Who died? Just, a, just an old family friend. Don't worry about it. Oh, a family friend. Was it someone I knew? All right, look, I didn't want to say anything, but it was Meredith, your old nanny. Meredith? Oh, I loved that woman. I was so sad when she quit. Wow, Lois, you were lucky to have a nanny. My mom just left me with a radio possessed by the former owner of our home. 
Can I have a snack? You're sitting where I died. Ah, the weekend scholars. You two tackling your studies? We're buying tickets to Firefest too. You win. You do realize the first one was a historic failure. Yeah, but this one's on the moon. And Brittany Murphy's going. <laughs> you guys are clearly being conned. There isn't even water up there. Trust me, there's a very dedicated man who will make sure we get water, Brian. Your boy Elon sorting it out. Let's go! Jesus Ew. fucking Christ! Right. I don't know. The device can't make heads or tails of it. It's just some sort of weird, low-resolution, blocky universe. Lois, where is my supper? Still in the oven. Will I have it soon? Quite soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. 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 I'm frightened. Let's go. No further questions, Your Honor. At this point, I will turn Good things over God. to Brian's lawyer, the gentleman from Table Knee Bump and Associates. Thank you, Your Honor. Ah, son of a dick! Ah, ah, crap! Right on the bone! Ah! Do you wish to proceed? Huh? No! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? That's... enough... John Mayer. You were right, Doug. Mischief is fun. We're the best pals since the Snorks. Oh, the I'm having a really great that? time. Me too. I really value our friendship. You're not like those other Snorks who only want one thing. Oh, that was clumsy. <laughs> Hang on a second. Don't. Don't. Okay. General wow, that turned ugly fast. Just like my trip to Tampa Bay. Hey, city boy, what's with the arm pants? A what? Oh, the hell is an arm pants? Would you go tell Meg that lunch is on the table? Oh, Meg's not here. What do you mean? She and Quagmire went up to his cabin for the weekend. What? Yeah, I drew you a crude flip book to explain what's happening. Okay, I got a little off track there, but they went to his cabin. <laughs> They... they just left? Huh. Thought you kids didn't take naps. Now you're all just sleeping at the bottom of the pool. Oh my god! Oh, shit! Oh my god, that's Jennifer Love Hewitt! <gasps> wow, I wonder who she's here with. She could date any man she wanted to. Yeah, made lots of room. Hey, wait, that, that sign in the bathroom about washing your hands, that's only for the staff, right? Uh, technically, yes. That's what I thought. Great. Oh, man, these all look good. Every one of them. Hey, you want some bread? No! Uh... <sighs> okay. All right, let's see what's on demand. Okay, Pete. Thank you for watching Cox Cable On Demand. We have a lot of great movies, like Guy Ritchie's Snatch on Cox. All right. <laughs> and we've got other great features. If you want to see Carrie, Blow, Big, Shaft, and the 2008 indie hit Choke, you need Cox. Okay, <laughs> I guess they're all movies. And if you're looking for comedy, check out performers Lewis Black, Andy Dick, and Ed Lover. Peter, turn off the TV. Ah, oh, sweet Quagmire, you got a Winnebago. You mean a wanna bango? <laughs> oh, how clever. Yeah, I'm gonna take her across the country and nail a different broad in every state. <laughs> also gonna go to Vegas. Oh, we went to Vegas once. Remember, Lois, we saw the Jew Man group? <laughs> What the fuck? Pear van! Hey, is Stewie around? No, he's still at work. That's cool. Madonna. Cool. Uh, can you just let him know I stopped by? You can stay and wait for him. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just late for my thing. I hear you are a famous writer. I want to talk your book. I have the sunny water bottle full of Rite Aid vodka. I could chat for a second. I want to talk your book. All right, guess who just wrote 10 facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? Is one that he's Jewish? Guess who just wrote nine facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? He likes classic cars. Guess who just wrote eight facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? You probably said he was Jewish a second time.
All right, new article. One fact you didn't know about Michael Richards. You can't use that word in an article. And I will find a new show to write about. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did laugh, blow. I will kick you off that step. Let you have yourselves a good day. I appreciate the support as always, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, feel free to. I'd appreciate it. See you later.